Okay, as an offensive lineman, you want to lead with your hands and control a defender with your hands. You want to follow up with your head as a balance. Never lead with your head. You can, you, you're subject to liability and you're also subject to injuring the football player. So make sure you never lead with your head and try to narrow the area. You're following with your hands and your head, trying to get in this position. When you've gotten into this position, you've got your hands inside. Don't get have your football players get into this habit. This is a security thing, and I see a lot of young football players do this, trying to control a guy outside. That's gonna get you a holding call out here. But if I can shoot my hands in here, at this point I can grab inside here and get my head on side and drive. That's the initial part of a block that you've got to start with. And I'll try and put this together here out of a three-point stance playing left guard, and he's in an inside or two-eye set, and I'm basically just gonna man block him and cut him up. Let's go on this angle right here, Don. And I'll go through it slow, slow, down, set, hut, hands, head, control, and start in this position. Now you can see in this football position, I've got my head in here. You can see that I have got a good ankle, knee, and hip uh, placement, and my back is straight. This kind of a back arch will cause injury and not give you any energy or any power off the football. So make sure that you end up in this position on the defender. You can see how I've got good balance. My feet are wide apart. Now while moving in football, we never bring our feet together. This will make the biggest man unstable on any football field and it'll take and he'll easily get thrown off, thrown by a defender. 